Hello, my name is Steven, and today I'll be showing you how to make a spinning part and platform in Roblox Studio. First thing you're going to want to do is get two parts, just like I've done right here already, and we're going to rename those parts. The first one is going to be our spinning part, and the other is going to be our base part. After you've done that, make sure that you rotate them so that they're facing each other. And then we're going to go into our model section, our model menu. And we're going to go to this little create right here. We're going to click the drop down menu and we're going to make a hinge constraint. Make sure you know which one is your spinning part beforehand because we're going to go from the spinning part to our base part. So let's create. We're going to go from the side of our spinning part to the adjacent close side of our base part. And then once that's done, you're going to put them together. Once you've done that, we're going to go back home. We're going to put both of them in the air. And we're going to make sure that our base part is anchored. Now for the spin. We're going to click on our hinge constraint and we're going to go into our properties menu. And we're going to, under the hinge menu, change our actuator type to motor. We're going to set our angular velocity to 5 and our motor max torque to a whole bunch. Anything in the realm of that is perfectly fine. Then we're going to hit play. And we have just made a spinning part in Roblox Studio. If you don't want to see this base part here, you can go into the properties menu, change, change the transparency to one, and it will still work and operate as normal. That is how you make a spinning part in Roblox Studio.